Believe it or not, the Andrea Walker got kicked out of a much nicer venue, the 2000 feet venue, sent over to the Ryman because the crowd's a little too rowdy. That is a true story. Nice uh, also, up here to the top, yeah. front left up here, you got the Tennessee State Capitol, one of the oldest state capitals in the United States. It is on the registry of historic places. And um, that state capital right there is one of only 12 state capitals without a dome. Some of the other states are North Dakota, Florida, Virginia, Hawaii, Alaska, just to name a few. Um, you do have a uh, statue right here behind this tree and behind this uh, red light right here. It's, the red light's not working, but um, there's a statue of Andrew Jackson there. There's a town about 10 miles away from here uh, where the Hermitage Plantation is. Um, that Hermitage Plantation in that town. It's the only place in, that, in, in the United States you got to actually spend a $20 bill with a guy's face that's on the $20 bill that's actually from there. So, pretty cool thing to do, see there. Also, our Tennessee State Capitol right here. It was built between 18, uh, 1845 and 1859, designed by William Strickland. Uh, he passed away five years before it was completed. His dying wish was he wanted to be buried inside those, the walls of our state capitol. So that's what they did. They buried him inside the northeast wall of our state capitol. Oh, uh, straight ahead, right here to the left, you have this uh, Alvin C. York statue. Alvin C. York, the most decorated soldier in World War One. Uh, he is from Palmer, Tennessee. That's why he's on our Tennessee state ground. But that statue right there. That is that guy right there is the reason that they made the movie Sergeant York. Um, he was the most decorated soldier in World War One, received the Medal of Honor. And uh, right over here to the right, you got the St. Mary's the Seventh Charles Catholic Church. That church is still a functioning church still to this day, but it is the oldest standing church in downtown Nashville. Um, but it used to be a field hospital during the Civil War during the Battle of Nashville. Right here to the right, you got the bus station. Don't worry about the bus station; you're already on the bus. You're on the bus. But right behind, behind the bus station. There's a place called the Historic Municipal Auditorium. The Historic Municipal Auditorium, if you look at your screen right here, you'll see what it looks like uh, in and around it. Um, this building right here was one of the first Southern venues to have air conditioning back in the day, so a lot of people like to play here. People like Kiss, Journey, the Rolling Stones. The one and only time Michael Jackson ever played in Nashville, he played right here with the Jackson 5. The tickets were six bucks, y'all. Um, I don't even think you get a popcorn for six bucks anymore. Also, um, a guy named Elvis has played here once a million a few times. He played here one time for ten dollars, one time for twelve dollars. But now they hold things here like the roller derby, uh, graduations, cheerleading competitions, uh, political rallies. Unfortunately, um, around the, the corner here, there's actually a thing called the Auditorium. Uh, I'm sorry, 